Hello, viewers. Good morning. My name is Lydia. I'm in Croydon University Hospital this morning. I'm here to have my baby in a C-section. Actually, I didn't choose um, cesarean, so it's kind of like a semi-emergency. Um, it's emergency because I came yesterday to have a normal delivery, and then it happened that my baby is breech. Um, I wasn't aware that baby was breached because I was told that baby's head was down. But yesterday it came into realize that baby's is bottom down. So actually, um, the um, consultant came and advised me whether I wanted to have a breach de vaginal delivery, I wanted to have a cesarean. But weighing the options and the risk involved, I decided to have a cesarean section than have a breach vaginal delivery because I don't want to have any tear and cut and you know those vasectomy and that kind of um, where they will have to intercede, intercede, intercede or maybe they have to um, if I'm unable to push at one point they have to come in and maybe give me a big cut or something like that so I decided to have a cesarean um, which is really not what I really wanted but as as long as um, I'm safe and my baby is safe, I think that was the only options at the moment that I had. So I chose to have the, um, the cesarean, which in my part is like elective, but it's not because um, it's, they just have to plan within like 24 hours, I think, because I came yesterday and I'm having the cesarean today. So right now um, they've got me ready, they're getting me ready, and I have my Jurex that will be going in my hand. And then um, Anita Six will come and put in um, the epidural in, through my spine. Um, I'll keep you dated. Um, I think that will be done in about 20 minutes' time, I believe. And then, um, okay, um, the question about what I'm having, uh, I think I will keep that for now and I'll give it to you as a surprise, maybe later after the birth of my baby. So, everybody, just pray for me. Pray, 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 pray for me. And then I believe I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be safe and my baby is going to be safe as well. Um, yeah, so that's it. It was very shocking when they just said to me that, I'm, you know, my baby's breech. I, at that moment, I felt, I felt very um, emotional and I was, I was very upset because I've already prepared my mind that I was going to have a vaginal delivery thinking my baby's head is down. So to come and then that was like, bam, a slap in my face, like, yo, your baby's bottom down. And I've had several appointment upon appointment. I've seen a consultant. I've seen, a, I've actually had cesarean in the past before. But um, when they assured me that the head was down, I prepared that I was going to have a vaginal delivery. My first cesarean was also due to the fact that my baby was breached. And this one is also breached. So, yeah. I have had a vaginal delivery as well. So now I've tried both. I can say that I've had vaginal delivery and before in the past. And I've had um, my... It, well, I had the... I had a cesarean first and then I have a vaginal delivery after. So, and I prefer vaginal delivery because um, when you, after the birth, you are so strong, you know, you can walk about, whereas the cesarean, you are a little weaker and it takes a little while to recover. As long as my baby is safe, I think um, that's the most important thing. Yeah. I I, I believe that you know God knows best and then he he alone knows why so yeah okay so yeah so when um viewers just stay tuned I'm going to keep you posted when they come to do the um my pijero my spine uh, I will I will I will update you and then when I'm being taken to the child I will update you and then after the birth of my baby so I will let you know what I'm having. Have a lovely day. Bye.